Hey, what's going on everybody? Um, I'm bringing you guys an updated video on how to adjust my EMV um, for re-engaged. I recently changed in version 3.2. I went from a reshade to an EMV only and did some changes. Well, I'm about to actually release version 3.3 here, um, hopefully soon. Uh, but first I wanted to get this video made before I uh, release it so I can have a way to show you guys some of the changes that I made and how you can make some adjustments for yourself in the EMV since it is a pretty good change. Uh, so I'm going to go over, you know, one, the files in the e EMV folder that you install, just in case you're not familiar with that, as well as go over the EMV menu in-game so that you can know how to make adjustments yourself to, to whatever it is that you like, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so first, let's go ahead and go over these EMV uh, files in your game folder. All right, so we're in the game folder now, uh, which is where you installed the EMV if you're not familiar with how to install, make sure you check out my install video so you know how to do that properly. But there's going to be a couple of things that you install, which is the EMB series folder, the EMB local, and EMB series. So let's first go ahead and talk about the EMB local if you're not familiar with this. Basically, it's the file that has the hotkey set up for the EMB, as well as the VSync option and the FPS limiter. By default, I have VSync off, but you can turn it on by turning the, uh, changing this to true. Uh, some people have found that disabling in-game VSync and then using VSync or even your driver uh, works much better to get better performance so if you do want to use that you can do that here. Uh, limiter I do have on by default um, I have it set at 59 but you can disable it if you want to by changing true to false and you can adjust the, the, uh, the amount as well. Uh, the hot the hot keys and stuff you can pretty much leave that as is um, unless you want to change them so all right so that's enough of the EMB local let's go over the EMB series file here and basically this is like a master file which is telling EMB what to use for the most part. Uh, there's not much that you need to worry about here. Um, you really don't need to worry about any of these things here. Uh, but here, this section, the effect and the global, uh, I'll tell you about. The global is basically saying EMB to use all my effects that I have turned on. If you change this to false, basically EMB is disabled completely. Uh, so you might as well just leave that the true, really no reason to mess with that. Then under effect has the different shaders that we use within the EMB. Uh, use original post-processing is set to false because if you set that to true, we are now using the vanilla game settings for like uh, brightness, contrast, and stuff like that, and it disables my DNI settings. So there's really no reason that you need to change that to true. Same with the original bloom because really, even if you change that to true to get that to show, you need to uh, go ahead and use original post-processing as well. And I have bloom active down here, uh, which you can disable if you don't like my bloom change that to false and again I'm going to show you guys how to do this in game as well so you don't actually have to go through here to do this uh, post pass shader uh, is effects that I have for like sharpening uh, letterbox uh, grain effects stuff like that uh, which the only one that's active is sharpening the other ones are disabled but uh, you want to leave this true so you have that effect that effect shader active and I'll show you that in game too dither doesn't really work with the current EMB adaptation I I don't care for I'm not a fan of um, adaptation effect which is your eyes adjusting from bright to dark areas um, I do not have my presets uh, set for that so even if you enable that to true it's gonna mess up the image because my values for that effect are not set correctly for that so you can just leave that as false uh, lens effect I do not use lens effect uh, because like climate to Real and vivid weathers has their own lens effect and I'm gonna maybe put a lens effect down the road for vanilla preset and that preset uh, but we'll see about that and then the depth of field um, is is on, on as well uh, but this is the ultimate preset normally like bloom and depth of field are turned on automatically for the ultimate preset that we turned off for the quality and color correction so those would actually be false uh, so and then a color correction is the master brightness and gamma curve uh, which basically if you adjust this it applies to the whole EMB no matter what time of day which I actually do have its own separate day night interior setting which I will show you um, so you can leave this alone just leave it at 1.0 you should be good to go so and that's enough with that one so let's actually go into the EMB series folder now all right let me go back in there okay so EMB series folder this is where all the effects take place and all the shaders for each of the effects that I use is in so let's quickly go over each one of these and again you can adjust in game so you don't actually have to physically go in here but I just want to go over it just in case people are not familiar with it but EMB bloom is where I have the different types of bloom again you don't need to do anything with that the uh, the textures is where my LUT files are that I use for my presets 
Uh, this again is just the tools to help run the EMV. You don't need to mess with anything there. Adaptation I don't use, so there's no effect changes in that. EMV Bloom, I do have my changes in the FX file um, for each preset, but you could adjust the, the settings here if you really wanted to. Let's see, depth of field. Okay, this has the depth of field and Marty McFly's AO, so both his depth of field and AO is included in this file and run together again it's on by default with the ultimate presets and turned off for the quality and color correction presets but the file settings are right here um, and can adjust but it's better to do it in game so you can see the changes happening and I'll show you how to do that so exit out of that EMB effect this is where my DNI settings are for you know dawn sunrise day etc and each of the settings for each time of day has its own brightness, tone mapping, contrast, saturation, etc. Settings for each time of day that can be adjusted to your liking. So if you find that like daytime is just not bright enough for you or even too dark, I don't know, you can adjust your brightness setting or if you want more saturation during the day, you can adjust your saturation here. Uh, but again, that can be adjusted in, in game too. Much better to do it actually in game. As well as I have what's new in my in the new version is a couple things here, and I'm sure you guys that are using my uh, version 3.2 will notice that the setup here is different and more organized. It's actually set up by specific time of day as opposed to where it was brightness and then contrast and you know adaptation min, adaptation max. It's actually broken up now. I reorganized it um, so it's by time of day. It will be much easier to adjust, and I'll show you that too. In but some couple things new. Uh, Looping sent me this effect to use with uh, with my EMB, and it's a night and interior adjuster. Basically allows for those that do not like to mess with these settings and are nervous about doing it. By one click, you can make nights either a little bit brighter or a little bit darker, um, or the same thing with interiors. If you find that interiors are too dark, you can actually one click make it brighter, um, real easy. And or even even if you want it darker, you can do that. And I'll show you. Um, apply game color correction is another thing that looping added for me is basically this allows as I was telling you with like the use original post processing if you enable that it disables my DNI settings and you use the vanilla game settings instead however with this setting you can actually turn this on and it will use the vanilla settings plus my EMB settings uh, one good reason this would benefit some users is those that are using night eye with uh, the current EMB night eye won't show up in game but if you apply this, it actually will allow that through the EMB and will show up for you in game. However, at this point, I have not tweaked my DNI settings to work with this set to true. So things can look um, a lot brighter uh, with this set to true and not line up exactly right. It will change the image quality of my presets. So hopefully down the road, I will get that turned on by default and rework my settings and get it balanced out. But as of version 3.3 that I'll be releasing, um, it will be off by default. So that's that file. And let's go to the EMB effect. In, uh, this one is where your sharpening is. Uh, I was telling you about vignette, grain, letterbox. These are off by default. But my reshade, again, looping helped me out here, uh, moving some of these reshade effects that I use so I don't longer have to use reshade plus EMB. Um, running the, the uh, framework for reshade, everything's integrated um, in here now. So it's just a straight up EMB. But you can adjust. You know settings here for like HDR um, or your Technicolor or lift gamma gain that can be adjusted here as well um, so that's pretty much the files that you would need to worry about here um, but I'm gonna go into game now and actually show you how to adjust this in game and it's actually a lot easier than using the file so let me go ahead and get into game all right, so we're in game now. I'm going to show you how to adjust the EMB while you're in game, which is actually the best way to do it. Uh, so we want to bring up the EMB menu. If you're not using a controller and using a keyboard and mouse, I definitely recommend that you bring up the uh, console so that when you hit shift and enter and start moving around with the mouse, it's not moving all over. Um, if you're using a controller, you don't really need to do this. Um, but you're going to hit shift and enter, and that's going to bring up the EMB menu. So the first thing that's going to pop up, you'll see here, is you have the menu that's opened up on the left side. Again, here's all the effects um, that we have within the EMB, and that these ones are on by default. Uh, the ultimate preset has the bloom and depth of field on, but the other presets, this will actually be off. The only thing that would really be checked here is the post-pass shader, again, which you want to leave on. Dither doesn't really work. I don't like adaptation. My preset's not tuned for that, so I don't check that. 
I don't have lens effect um, tuned or anything for my preset, so I need to turn that on either. Um, if you use EMB effect, it disables everything, um, and that would be turning it on. So my preset off, preset on. So you want to keep that active as well. Up here at the top under engine, if you expand that, you'll have your V-Sync. If you want to enable that, you just check that, and you'll turn on V-Sync. And then the limiter, again, FPS limiter is on by default, but you can adjust it here. Remember that if you make any adjustments to the EMB, you want to hit save. If you do not hit save and exit the game and come back in, or minimize the game and come back in, it will reload the default settings and it will be all turned off for you. So um, these right here you don't need to worry about, nothing to change there. The other thing that would be important for you is the statistics tab, which actually breaks down time of day. So you can see that uh, there's a basically a percentage for the time of day that you're in. So right now we're 70 cent, 77% um, pulling my settings from day and 23% they're pulling my settings from sunrise to get my color saturation and everything like that. So you want to keep that up. I'm going to show you how to adjust the DNI settings. So let's go talk about the first one here, um, the depth of field. Okay. The depth of field is new in this version in regards to adding Marty McFly's AO, the MXAO effect in the ultimate presets. Up here you have a technique section and it's got a pull down. And by default when you have this on it's going to be the depth of field and his AO. But you can easily change if you just want the depth of field you can just you know, click that. If you want just his AO you can turn turn that on as well. You know, So if we go here to AO um, you can see here but if I go ahead and just turn it off you'll see that it changes a little bit, the ambient occlusion within the grass and stuff like that. So that's all off and then turn it back on. But again, by default, it's on here. Uh, but you can do some adjustments to your depth of field if you want or the AO. Um, like if you want you know, the blur to come a lot closer to you, you could go, for example, here to far blur and reduce this value um, and it will bring the blur a lot closer to you, you know, so, but, uh, Again, if you don't save it, the changes will um, go back to whatever their default is, and so. But you can adjust that and the same thing there. Um, bloom, you can change the bloom settings if you don't like the bloom. But again, it's very subtle, and this is very even just a small tweak will mess up the bloom and make it too strong or whatever. So I would just go ahead and leave it as is. And same thing, I use Gaussian bloom, so I would just leave that technique as is as well. Lens I don't use, adaptation I don't use in there. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the EMB effect post pass and then I'll go into the EMB effect. But here um, is the sharpening settings. Like if you want to adjust sharpening, you can actually go here to sharp amount and you can, you know, adjust the uh, the sharpening if you want or turn it off, you know, all the way off, you know. But it's up to you. Some people find are more sensitive to sharpening than others, so you can adjust that to your liking based on the monitor. Uh, vignette, um, I have it off by default, but if you like it, you can turn it on by clicking that there. Um, grain, if you like grain effect, you can just click that and turn on if you want that. Letterbox, if you want that, you can click there and it will turn on letterbox effect, but it's off by default. Now, underneath letterbox and below is reshade um, effects that I was used as were put in by uh, looping into my EMB. And then, you know, I put my settings in there. But you can adjust your settings here um, as well. You know, for example, if you want to adjust, you know, HDR. You can adjust HDR if you want, um, but I think it's pretty good where it's at. You can adjust Technicolor, uh, DPX effect, uh, lift gamma gain, uh, curves, all that can be adjusted right from here. So that's pretty much in there. And again, for that to work, you have to have the post pass shader enabled. If you disable that, all that stuff gets turned off. And EMB effect, the last one here. Um, let's go over. So there's a lot of changes in here. Again, I restructured this file. So now it's broken down by dawn, sunrise, day, etc. And each time of day has its own setting. So you can see here, if I wanted to adjust daytime settings, it's pulling 88% from day and 11% from sunrise. So you kind of would have to do a mix of adjustments from both to get it to where you like. Uh, but, you know, if you go to daytime, let's just do a quick, you know, 100% you know, daytime. Okay, we're about there anyway. Um, so we're about 100% there, and you can change your daytime. So if you want to make, you know, you think day is not bright enough, you can make it brighter if you want. Or if you want it darker, you can make it darker if you want to as well. Um, 
but you have to make sure you're looking at the stats tab to see what part of day that you're pulling from to make your adjustments. You can adjust saturation, um, etc. So, and then here's some color corrections that apply to all times of day as well. So these ones are fine tuned for each time of day. This one applies to all times of day, all at once. And then a couple other things, like I told you here, apply game color correction. You can enable it, but again, you can see that it makes it a little bit brighter. And it's actually not too, too bad here, but there's some scenes it gets really bright if I enable it. But again, it's because I didn't fine tune um, for this type of DNI settings that I have here. But basically, again, that will allow vanilla settings to come through the EMB as well as the EMB settings. So um, you could do that. And then you have the Knight's Interior Adjuster, which will probably benefit a lot of people. Um, where you can easily, you have to, again, for the Knights one, you have to be at 100% Knight, and then for the interior, you'll be inside. And, uh, but you can change this. Let me actually go ahead and uh, go to, let me go ahead and go to uh, nighttime real quick, and we'll go ahead and I'll show you how we can adjust it. And then uh, you'll see it in action, actually. So let it get to, you know, the time of day factor and the under the stats to 100%. There we go. So we're at nighttime here. You know, it's kind of a cloudy day, you know, so it's actually pr pretty dark. Let me actually go ahead and force a little bit clearer of the weather so we can see the effect. Okay, so we're in nighttime here. Now let's say we want to get it a little bit brighter. We can actually go right here, go to night, and we can make it one click. Now it's brighter. Okay, so it adjusts different settings to get it, you know, instead of just going to my night setting here and you know, increase in the brightness, which kind of can, you know, change the image a little bit and not do it in a good way. Um, this does its back, you know, factors in some different settings and it gets it to where it needs to be. Um, if you want it um, darker, you can go to one and a half times darker and that will be darker. But again, and then you got the default. Um, and the same thing will, will apply for interiors. If you go to interiors, you can change it to um, half the darkness one and a half times darker or even two times darker for the interior one but the nighttime doesn't have that so but that is pretty much how you can adjust your EMV uh, in game and I think I pretty much covered everything that you guys would need to plus all the new effects um, so if you have any questions definitely hit me up in game on the or not in game on my on my page in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have um, but I do hope that this helped clarify some things, especially for those that are not familiar with EMV and how to use some of the different settings from EMV. Uh, so this should help. But again, enjoy. I hope you guys are liking the preset. Have any questions, hit me up. Thanks. Have a good day.